We now have the Attorney General's full personnel file from her time at DHS. Leslie Rutledge handed that over to reporters. They were withheld pages before today. That's right. Political opponents and a judge's ruling demanded they be turned over. Kerry Kifora's Jesse Tour was in the meeting with Rutledge. And Jesse, you got those documents. Do they shine any light on anything in particular? Bob and Ashley, not a whole lot really. Rutledge refers to what's in these pages as nitpicky organizational issues. One page is a disciplinary action, but Rutledge notes there's no signature or date on it. Now, it regards not returning a social worker's two phone calls about a child welfare case. Another in this packet here is a counseling statement regarding another foster care child case. That type of document is to avoid disciplinary action, she says. Rutledge refers to his her entire DHS file as Mary Poppins' bag and that something different was flying out of it every time she opened it. She got a copy of it from DHS this morning. She says she doesn't know why supervisors changed her file, whether they got mad because she resigned immediately and left the next day to work for Mike Huckabee's campaign or for other political reasons. She did say, if I could turn back time, like Cher says, then I would certainly have worked those two weeks. And she did say that as far as the lawsuit goes from the Democratic Party of Arkansas, Rutledge calls on DHS and the governor to appeal it. She says this isn't in her interest since releasing the documents today, kind of made it moot on her end. She says this is all really for public employees. What information can be released about them under the Freedom of Information Act? Her chief of staff said what she has done here today is take the politics out of this. Now it's about the rule of law. He says there is a good possibility the Supreme Court will hear it, so we'll have to wait and see on that. Back to you guys. Okay.